Hello everyone. Today we're going to be talking about adding and subtracting rational expressions. So for this first video, we're going to be looking at adding or subtracting with like denominators. So just like with fractions, we can add slash subtract the numerators, keep the common denominator, and simplify the resulting rational expression. So for example, if I'm looking at fractions, I know that 3 fourths plus, let's say, 5 fourths. To add those fractions, I would add the numerator, so I do 3 plus 5 to get 8. And I keep the common denominator. And then I would simplify that. And so 8 over 4 simplifies to equal 2 over 1, or in other words, 2. We can do the same thing with these rational expressions. So for this first one, I have 7 over 4x plus 3 over 4x. I see I have a common denominator. And so that means I can just add the numerator. So I have 7 plus 3 over 4x which just equal 10 over 4x. And now I need to look at that and see if that's completely simplified. I see it's not because I know a 2 can go into both 10 and 4. And so dividing top and bottom by 2, I get 5 over 4x. Okay, let's look at this next one. Next one I have 2x over x plus 6 minus 5 over x plus 6. So here I have a common denominator of x plus 6, so I can just subtract the numerators. And so this is going to equal to 2x minus 5 over x plus 6. Now you look at that and see if I can simplify that further. The top, I can't factor anything out, neither with the bottom. There's not any common factors, so this is completely simplified. Okay, let's look at one last one. This one looks a little bit more complicated. So here I still have the common denominator of x squared plus 7x plus 12. So that means I'm just going to subtract the numerators. Here I need to be a little bit careful though. I am subtracting that entire numerator on the other side. So I'm going to put parentheses around that second numerator. So I need to make sure I'm subtracting every single term. And so since I'm subtracting every term, I'm going to distribute that minus sign. And so I have x squared minus 2x plus 3 minus x squared plus 4x plus 5 over x squared plus 7x plus 12. And so when I simplify this out, I see those x squared minus x squared, that cancels out negative 2x plus 4x, I get 2x, 3 plus 5, I get 8. And now I need to see if I can simplify this. And so see if I can simplify it, I'm going to factor both top and bottom. In the top, I see I have a GCF of 2, so I'm going to factor out with 2. So I have 2 times x plus 4. When I factor the bottom, I'm looking for two numbers that multiply 12 and add a 7, and I see that's 3 and 4, so this gets me x plus 3 times x plus 4. And so seeing the top and bottom, I see they share a factor of x plus 4, and so those cancel out, and I'm left with my answer of 2 over x plus 3. 